hooked up to Old Faithful. And we're going to work right now. Stick around, see what we're doing with it. What we got going on here, so we'll show you here shortly. But man, just thinking, I've had Old Faithful for almost 15 years. Pulled a lot of stuff on that old trailer. And we ain't done yet, so stick around. We'll show you what we got going. Well, kids, I don't know if you can see it back there, but we went and did something. Uh, some will like it, some probably won't. And yeah, for me, I'm kind of up on the fence to see if it was a good deal or not, but we'll take a look here, but we're on our way home with what we got, and we'll let you see what we got when we get home, so stay tight. All right, guys, as promised, we are back to the house, and we're going to show you what we ended up getting. So, here we go. I know it's not a Lee Spring car, it is a Monte Carlo, which is a metric car. Um, as of right now, I do know the ultimate, uh, what we're doing with the Leafer this year, which it's going to a new home. Um, so uh, the old, old boy I got the black car off of, um, I'm actually getting another car with the deal. But uh, part of the deal was we're going to do a partial trade with the old Leafer. He's got another Leaf Spring car that we ran with a time or two last year and a time or two the year before when we first got into the street stocks. Um, so it will be, <laughs> there is a chance that we will see the old Leafer back out on the track. Are we done with Leafer Nation? That would be a big question right at the moment. Yes, I have gotten a lot of crap about getting a metric car. Am I done with Leafer Nation? Well, let's put it this way. I'm not 100% done with Leafer Nation. One, if we run a mini stock, that is a Leaf Spring car. In the future, I am planning on possibly getting another Leaf Spring car to tinker around with. All right, guys, well, we've made a little bit of progress on stripping the old leafer down. We've got the old seat out of this car, which the black car, the one we're putting together, we have, I haven't really come up with name up with for it yet, but um, it is actually set up. The passenger side of it is set where we could put a passenger in there. So I'm going to keep that seat um, and maybe eventually put it in the car. Uh, you know, new belts and all that, so everything's safe. You know, maybe get give a few guys a ride after the races. So I don't, I don't want the liability of somebody being in a car and you know, if, well, you guys follow me this year. You've seen me crash plenty of times. Uh, the right side, for whatever reason, this year seemed to be the one to take the brunt of the most abuse. So, uh, well, I'm bad about it, but I did not record it. But we got. The engine is sitting over there. It is out of here. We got the steering column hooked up. Uh, got a piece of lead off. Working on getting more off. We got the gear out. Now, I don't want nobody thinking that I'm getting rid of the old leafer because I'm convinced that metric cars are the cat's meow on dirt track as far as street stocks go. Um, no, I'm not going to say they don't have their advantages on a dry slick. They tend to have a little more bite coming out of the corners than what a leaf spring car does. We are getting rid of the old leafers simply because I don't need a bunch of junk laying around in my yard. Um, you know, one, I got a weed eat around that stuff. Or pay somebody to weed eat around it, one or the other. I don't like weed eating, so it's easier for me to pay somebody. 
And two, my wife don't like having our yard looking like a junkyard. So I try my best to not have a bunch of junk laying around. So, you know, we're, we're still going to be messing with the leaf springs. I'm not going to run a full season this year. I've said that a hundred times. Uh, we just wasn't real sure if we were going to put this car together or not. Which, I guess I've set that, pretty much set the demise, we're not putting this one together. close this video out we got pretty much the old leafer is about as naked as it's ever been since I've had it I've always at least had a roof on it so um, I guess next video will be getting a new car in here or maybe even getting this one out I don't know yet but uh, like I said this is kind of a I'm excited you said at the same time this car was what started our YouTube channel well I started a YouTube channel but this was the car that we started it with um, had a lot of potential with this car like I said we're just kind of I don't know if we're necessarily upgrading or what we're getting into with with this other deal but it's definitely going to be an experiment. Um, those are new to our channel and have stuck out long enough to hear me say this. I am a but low budget racer. Um, everything I do co mainly comes out of my pocket. I got a handful of sponsors, so but I still got room on a car. If someone has inter interested, we can add more sponsorships to the car. But um, we're low budget, so we're not running new chassis anything like that so what we're going to do is this is our old low budget leaf spring car we're going to go to a low budget metric car we're going to see what we perform better with on our budget we're making a big switch uh, like i said i don't know how to really feel about it now that i got the car stripped down and getting ready to it's almost ready to sit down on the ground and roll out we're going to swap wheels and tires out in the next day or so and get this one up on the trailer and get the other one or well, get the other one off and get this one up on the trailer but either way we're going to close this out well god bless you guys we'll see you guys later